Alright, today's lesson is on defeating anxiety, worry, and distress. This whole ministry that God has called me to is focused on the supernatural. It's not just words to, to, to guide you out of your troubles that I'm after to try to... Yes, part of it is education. But I would say 95% of it is God coming in and ch shaping and changing, shifting and removing certain th columns, uh, distractions, evils, anything that's in the way out of your life that you might be able to have the light, the peace of God, the protection, the wisdom, understanding, the presence of God supplies all of your needs. And so, the main goal is to connect ourselves to God. And once we're able to connect ourselves to God in a spiritual way, not in a religious way, but in a spiritual way. What, let me stop right there. Let me pause. What is the difference between serving God religiously and spiritually? Okay, well, God said to, to worship Him in spirit and in truth. And you can sing to God in the spirit and you can sing to God in a religious manner. And one will make you feel like you're, you're floating in heaven with him. And the other one will just, is just operating. It's just mechanically flowing with the natural gift that God gave us, which is our dialogue, our vocal points. So one is talent and the other one is moving in spirit, which is another word for heart. So you're, you're flowing with God through your heart, right? Versus you're just mechanically checking off some boxes that you know you have to do, but you're doing it without any passion, any care, you're just doing it. Which begs the question, has your parents or somebody ever told you to do something you're not really fond of doing? It could be cleaning the car, cleaning your room, washing the dishes. And you're like, all right, I'll do it. But you just do it. That There's nothing more than that. It gets done but with a sour attitude, the wrong type of heart, a frown on your face, kind of like, there, are you happy? It's done. There's a difference between that and then doing it in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in such a manner where you're not disturbed that you have to do it, but there's a greater purpose and a greater you know the why behind the what. So you, God says do everything as, as if you're doing it for Him and not for man. So when you go to work, work like if you're working for God. And then singing worship while you're working, you know, brings happiness. And it makes the time go by faster. And it, it makes it even enjoyable. The task that was once daunting is now like, I don't mind doing that anymore because you're spending time in fellowship with God in spirit and in truth. I wanted to uh, say that. So the lesson is, you know, how to escape or, excuse me, how to overcome, be victorious over anxiety, over worry, and over distress. We all go through hard times. No one is exempt. Some people compare themselves with other people and they put a load of stress on their shoulders when they compare themselves to a millionaire or a billionaire. And when they look over the fence and they see them, they have airplanes and choppers and cars and mansions and pools and luxury. And you look at your life you can feel sorry for yourself, feel belittled, less than, 
uh, almost like you're unknown, you're a ghost, and that's a very low sinking feeling to feel that way about yourself. And often we feel this about ourselves when we see other people have breakthrough, when we see other people have victory, we compare ourselves to them. God has called you and he's called me. To not compare ourselves to other people, but to look to him. Because when you look to God, he will supply all your needs according to the riches and glory in Jesus Christ. And isn't that the point that God in relationship with him, that you be connected to him and through that connection, that God be able to be responsible for you and taking care of you? Isn't that a relationship? And is it all about you getting everything, all your desires and getting luxury and just all these things? Or is it a greater thing to have him? Or would you rather the things of God rather than God himself? And is it either or? I believe that the answer is that once God is in your heart and that you don't care for anything else, that God adds the blessing of everything else because he knows your heart. And he's like, I have you won over your mind. And I know that you're mine. And because you're mine, I'll give you all of this stuff that people go crazy for and they lose their, their minds over. I'll give it to you. It's not that big of a deal. And so, anxiety can be produced through hardships, tr trouble, turmoil. Often it's concocted in our minds about the future, about what the future holds, the next day, uh, how you're going to get over this or that hurdle, about people conspiring against you, talking behind your back, gossiping or slandering you. Anxiety, worry, and despair all have in common that it makes you feel lousy, makes you feel uneasy, uncomfortable, makes you feel like you're doubting, you know, life at that point, that everything's going to work out. And so God, in His infinite wonder, His majesty, His love, kindness, He is saying, look to me. Don't look to this earthly realm of all that the devil wants you to focus on. Look to me, He says, and I will, with my light, remove all the darkness, all the shadows. Do you know that you can be, be before giants and not be phased? You can be completely, I'm sorry for the noise in the background. You can be, I'm sorry again. Uh, it might go off again. All right, well, you can be behind, uh, before giants and be laughing internally because God is with you. He can give you that supernatural, just that overcoming spirit that makes you look at things that normally would terrify you. He'll make you feel like this is nothing. And that's all, that's God. Guys, I'm gonna end the video there because I have uh, this thing going off every three seconds, but I hope this video helps you. God bless you.